Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I'll be showing you how to truncate text using CSS. Now, this solution here is very commonly found online. In fact, you've probably seen it before yourself and it involves applying a few CSS properties to your element in order to achieve uh, your truncated text with the three dots or the ellipsis at the end of it. But in this video, I'm going to be explaining essentially what those three properties actually do and as well as some troubleshooting in case you're having trouble getting your text truncation to work and you can't figure out why. So right here, I have this index HTML document with a div and a class of container. Then inside here, I've got a paragraph tag containing the text in which I want to truncate. So you might have a similar setup on your side in your application or your website. So going inside the browser, it currently looks like this. As we can see, the text is going to wrap uh, on the multiple lines and it's not gonna be truncated. So how do we achieve that truncation? Well. I'm going to immediately show you what you need to do. Then I'm going to be going into, you know, what the styles actually uh, sort of mean and, you know, what their purpose is. So let's go up here and we're going to say targeting the container. I'm going to be setting a width of 200 pixels, okay, as well as a text overflow of ellipsis, a overflow of hidden and a white space value of no wrap. Okay, so again, you've probably seen this solution online before. I'll save this, go back in the browser, refresh, and we get this here. So what's actually happened? Why is it sort of half working? Okay, you can see that the overflow is working. So in this case here, there is some text overflow and it is hidden, which of course is what this property is for, right? So the overflow is hidden, it's off the screen, right? Right here. And we can see that the white space no wrap has worked because what that does is that right there is going to enforce a single line on your text. So that property has worked. What hasn't worked is the text overflow ellipsis. Okay, so if you are encountering this problem here on your side, what you want to do to attempt to fix the problem is going to be to apply these styles on the direct most element where your text is. Okay, so you might be applying it to the container like I'm doing here, but what you want to do is you actually want to say container and then P. So targeting the actual element which your text is inside of directly, that right there is going to give you your desired effect uh, most likely. So you go here, I'll cut this, I'll paste it down here, save it, go back in the browser, refresh, and now we can see it is working as we expected. Okay, so save yourself some hassle and apply those styles to the direct most element in which your text yeah, you know, belongs in, okay? It's also worth mentioning that if you're having trouble after doing this, it's worth trying to set some sort of width on your element because in this case here, the paragraph tag takes up the entire width of its container per default. So because we've set a width on the container here of 200 pixels, this paragraph tag is gonna take up that remaining width and it's gonna give it a guideline on where to stop. Because if you don't provide some sort of set width against your element, then it doesn't know when to cut off the text. If it's just gonna be uh, free flowing, then there's no theoretical limit to say, okay, now stop uh, the text and truncate it. So that's why the width needs to be provided. So make sure you have a width and make sure that you're applying these styles to the direct most element, okay? Now, I did briefly cover at the beginning what these properties do, but just to recap here, the text overflow property is going to dictate what happens when there is text overflow. And we're saying here, look, let's provide an ellipsis. If you were to remove this text overflow property, I'll save this, go back in the browser, the text is still truncated, but it is just cut off 
you know, bluntly. So you have that text overflow to have a nice finish on your truncation. Uh, the overflow, like I said in the beginning of this video, overflow says, look, when there is overflow content, so when the text is too large for the container, then you want to simply hide that content and that works in conjunction with uh, the white space no wrap and the text overflow ellipsis to give you that truncation and the white space no wrap, like I said, it's going to create a single line for your text as opposed to a multi-line or a wrap. So no wrap means no wrap as opposed to a default of a wrap where it looks something like this. Save this back in the browser. It's going to wrap on a multi-line. So you're, you're, you're basically removing that idea of the multi-line wrap there. Okay. Now, just quickly as well, if you're interested in doing a multi-line uh, text truncation, you're likely going to want to use some sort of JavaScript to make that happen. I'm not going to cover it in this video, but uh, you want to yeah, make some sort of function in JavaScript to then say, look, I want to cut off at this amount of characters and you're going to be injecting those three dots uh, or the ellipsis manually, then rendering out on the screen, of course. If you're using a framework or library like React or Vue or whatever, it's going to be a lot easier to, of course, incorporate that sort of logic with the uh, rendering, you know, uh, logic and so on. But yeah, so if you want multi-line text rendering or multi-line text truncation, make sure you, yeah, use some JavaScript for that one. So that is all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed that one and you learned something. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.